Sorry. So I made uh, the final version of the procedural asteroids. I'll show you really quick. So basically the algorithm goes around the outer edge and it leaves the center completely alone. I'll show you that code in a second. It goes around the outer edge and it chooses randomly whether to eliminate an outer edge piece. It also scans the entire asteroid to determine if any of them have one edge that's exposed and that one is then eligible for making it visible. And that is all right here. Eliminate blocks with one or more edges around the outer edge and they aren't already set to invisible or they have more than one edge that is already invisible. So this only happens during the initialization which is one time. Mm -hmm. So this is the number of times that I loop through and decide this and then we loop through the whole block. Uh, these are just to make the variables a little bit smaller to deal with. And then this is counting the neighbors with the type 1 so I choose as we go through the loop m comma n, see we loop through m minus 1 to m plus 1, n minus 1 to n plus 1. So that's the whole loop right in the middle there. Uh, just thinking about it, that actually compares the center, but it doesn't really matter because we're just looking for that number to be 8. And then down here, we compare and see if the block is not in the center, defined as half the total size divided by 2 centered and this leaves everything alone and then the O edge there and then we clean up stranded blocks I tried to implement that but then I decided I didn't want to do it because it just didn't work <laughs> which I can try another time to figure it out but anyways um, that's it and this leaves us with the procedural asteroids that I'm gonna call finished um, it's got the stragglers that I tried to eliminate, but um, see that like this one, but it's in space, so, so we can have debris floating around the asteroids. That's fine. <laughs> that is my my cool solution. So, all right. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch. All that fun stuff. <clears throat> I'm trying to start a schedule for Twitch, so I'll be streaming from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. any day any day that I can manage to do that. My sleep schedule is kind of all over the place, but I would like to have that as a regular schedule. So stay tuned uh, for that as well, because uh, uh, that means I'll be live in about two hours or four hours. But I might not do a full four hour stream, but we'll, we'll start around six or seven and go until nine or ten or whatever. So and then we'll see about putting this into the game, finishing the mechanics for the arena or working on the space trader or whatever, getting that going again or doing whatever. I'm not really sure. We might even start a brand new game. You know, with, with me, you never know. So, all right. Thanks, everybody, for the support. Have a good day. Wait, I hit the wrong button.